Vampire track 8227. That'll get ordered. 80322. 80324. Battle shorts enabled. Eagle Firm track 80122. Stations MSS, Tango Mike Shining Line 1, 2, 6, and 7. Mark to be 80122. Baseline 9.C1 introduces more flexibility to insert new equipment, programs, and capabilities at a faster pace to help meet the challenge of the growing worldwide threat against sophisticated ballistic missiles. Aegis Baseline 9 incorporates a number of new technologies into one coherent weapon system. Not only does it bring the, uh, the SM-3 Block uh, 1B threat upgrade missile, it brings in the cooperative engagement capability. It lets the weapon system manage the SM-3 with its ballistic missile defense capability. A new surface to air missile called the SM-6, the standard missile 6 family, with is a, uh, a longer range surface to air missile. And then it uh, retains the residual capability of the SM-2, our, our medium-range surface-to-air missile. That and the cooperative engagement capability uh, really is what brings Baseline 9 in, into a true multi-mission and integrated air and missile defense destroyer. Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense continues its evolution today to protect our forces and allies around the world. Aegis BMD on patrol, operating at sea today, supporting the warfighter. The Missile Defense Agency, MDA, and the U.S. Navy continued testing the sea-based Aegis BMD, Ballistic Missile Defense System, during the fall of 2014. Relieving cruiser USS Lake Erie is a new Aegis test ship. Aegis destroyer USS John Paul Jones, DDG-53 which conducted these tests off the Hawaiian coast on the Pacific Missile Test Range. DDG-53 has been modernized with the new open architecture Aegis Baseline 9.C1. To incorporate the BMD functionality, the Aegis BMD 5.0 CU capability upgrade has been integrated into Baseline 9.C1, increasing the flexibility of Aegis BMD ships to counter the growing threat against more sophisticated cruise and ballistic missiles in a dangerous world. Aegis BMD ships provide combatant commanders, COCOMs, with significant flexibility to meet changing operational demands in today's world. Being mobile, these ships have the ability to operate independently of foreign sovereignty, enjoy relative freedom from reliance on overseas bases, and can arrive on the scene early, sustaining their presence for days. From a few at-sea stations, Aegis BMD ships can provide a highly survivable, robust BMD force. These multi-mission ships can be visible or unobtrusive, are self-sustaining, and can carry out other traditional naval missions while simultaneously providing BMD in support of COCOM's naval requirements. 
The objective of these tests, Flight Test Exercise, or FTX-20, and Flight Test Standard Missile, FTM-25, are to demonstrate the new Aegis Baseline 9.C1's Integrated Air and Missile Defense, IAMD, tracking and engagement capabilities, sharing SPY-1 radar resources between two missions, BMD and IAMD, of the new multi-mission signal processor. Once you're there and everybody's in their chairs and the weapon system's performing and you've got that training behind you and you know that people are there and they're, they're ready, things just happen. The success of John Paul Jones' DDG-53 in these test events shows the continuing evolution of Aegis, providing proven ballistic missile and air defense with greater capabilities today. After the success of FTX-20, the first BMD tracking exercise using Aegis Baseline 9.C1 against a very challenging medium-range ballistic missile target, John Paul Jones stays at sea preparing for the first BMD live fire engagement. FTM-25 again tests the new Aegis architecture, Baseline 9.C1, this time with the ship facing a simultaneous raid of a short-range ballistic missile target and two anti-air warfare AAW subsonic cruise missile targets. John Paul Jones protects its defended area with two SM-2 Block 3A against air targets and an SM-3 Block 1B for a ballistic missile target. For John Paul Jones' DDG-53 to conduct this test, the ship sets its Aegis BMD combat system in the new IAMD, Integrated Air and Missile Defense Priority Mode. FTM-25 is a developmental operational test, DTOT event, so ship's force operates in a tactical configuration in a simulated combat environment, without any knowledge of the launch time of the multiple targets. The ship navigates within its designated BMD station operating area, on alert for a raid attack. Aegis crew members of John Paul Jones use the mission planner in the new IAMD priority mode to set up the ship's SPY-1 radar system and prepare for a simultaneous raid of both AAW cruise missiles and a ballistic missile target. In the IAMD priority mode, the Aegis weapon system is configured to allocate SPY-1 radar resources between both BMD and AAW missions, as defined by Aegis crew members, allowing radar resources to fully support both missions. Back at the Pacific Missile Range facility, two AAW cruise missile targets and short-range ballistic missile target undergo their countdown before their simultaneous raid on DDG-53. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. In rapid succession, the range fires two AAW cruise missile targets and later a ballistic missile target to present a live raid scenario against John Paul Jones. The ship's Spy-1 radar detects and tracks both AAW cruise missiles and then the ballistic missile target in the new IAMD priority mode. Balancing SPY-1 radar resources and tracking the multiple targets, 
The Aegis Weapon System rapidly computes fire control solutions to engage the three-target raid. DDG-53's commanding officer releases ship's batteries, authorizing the Aegis Weapon System to fire its missiles. First, the Aegis Weapon System fires an SM-3 Block 1B missile from the vertical launching system to intercept the short-range ballistic missile target. And then the Aegis Weapon System fires two SM-2 Block 3A missiles to engage the AAW cruise missile targets flying towards the ship. Three targets are in flight and three missiles are away, scheduled by the Aegis Weapon System to defend against the raid. The SM-2 Block 3A guided missiles maneuver to engage the AAW cruise missile targets. Simultaneous to both SM-2 AAW engagements, John Paul Jones' Spy-1 radar uplinks data to the SM-3 Block 1B in flight toward its ballistic missile target. SM-3 Block 1B First Stage Second Stage Third Stage And Kinetic Warhead Eject Lethal Object Discrimination And then, in seconds, a direct intercept of the ballistic missile target and two successful engagements of the AAW cruise missile targets. Other kill. Mark out the JP331. Yes! Kill. Yeah. 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 The conclusion of FTM25 demonstrates that the new Aegis Baseline 9.C1 architecture can successfully engage both AAW targets and intercept a ballistic missile target in a live fire test with the Aegis weapon system set in IAMD priority mode. And second, the new Aegis BMD architecture can successfully conduct a simultaneous AAW and ballistic missile defense raid engagement. I think this weapon systems development, and testing, and, and soon employment in fielding just means that we, uh, the Navy and the Missile Defense Agency are, are continuing their long-standing goal to be able to develop, field, and deploy systems to defend Americans and our allies at home and, a, and abroad against a, a broad and, and proliferating range of threats. A new Aegis evolution with baseline 9.C1 architecture, greater capabilities, continued success in sea-based ballistic missile defense tests. Aegis BMD delivers. <laughs>